Okay, so good morning, everyone, and season's greetings. Um, welcome to this uh, forum that we're hosting today here at MassDEP, the Bureau of Waste Site Cleanup. We're really happy that you're joining in for this uh, quarterly Waste Site Cleanup Advisory Committee meeting, and we are joined in by uh, our advisory committee members. Thank you so much for your hard work uh, during 2024. Uh, we are excited to have welcomed new members, and we really appreciate your dedication and support of this advisory committee. Um, again, also welcome to all our DEP staff, special guests, and the public this morning and the LSP community. We are very grateful, again, for your hard work and service and dedication to our mission. My name is Millie Garcia Serrano, and I serve as the Bureau of Voice Site Cleanup Assistant Commissioner based out of Austin. Um, also um, joining in with um, all of our Austin staff, program staff, and our deputy regional directors uh, who are tasked with ensuring that our program is implemented uh, in a consistent um, basis across the state. So thank you to all of the deputy regional directors as well. Um, as you all know, the Waste Site Cleanup Advisory Committee meets on a quarterly basis. And our goal is to serve as a forum <clears throat> where MassDEP seeks comments and advice from obviously our advisory committee, as well as uh, the public at large that is attending and all of the practitioners. And we hope that today's program serves to continue to bridge the gap uh, with regards to communication and engagement. Um, we are gonna be touching on regulations, policies, and our program updates. So again, we're excited about today's program. Um, our mission also is to ensure that we have consistent coordination and conversation um, with the regulated community, as well as the practitioners of the license site program. We also host um, coffee hours, office hours on a monthly basis. And again, these are meant to be just casual conversations, drop in on the drop in basis where you can come in and basically ask questions and we will happily follow up uh, with your comments or questions. Um, so again, welcome. We're excited to, to um, have this forum being held today. Paul, if you don't mind advancing the next slide, that would be great. We have a packed agenda this morning, um, but basically what we want to get at today is providing you with some administrative updates, um, general program updates. Those will be um, delivered by some of our leaders in our program, uh, both division directors and coordinators. And then we're gonna spend a little bit of time with Michelle Craddock today, who's our coordinator for Natural Resource Damages Program. She's gonna provide us with some very interesting statistics and um, discussion about programs and, excuse me, settlements that we were able to achieve during our calendar year. Um, and then we're pleased to have Ms. Terry Wood, um, the Executive Director for the LSP Board, providing us with a report out and also Mr. Joe Roman, um, the president of the LSPA, he will be providing us also with a report out. Um, next, we will have Ken Mara uh, giving us some um, information with regards to the MCP amendments and implementation, um, specific to the subpart I, Q&A and uh, activity and use limitations. And then we're gonna touch on our progress regarding the actual drafting, final drafting of COM24, our soils policy. We will be touching on that as well. And then we will have a technical presentation. I'm very grateful to Ms. Natalie Johnson from the Northeast Region Bureau of Site Cleanup. She's gonna speak um, on a topic that actually is bringing us closer to identifying ways and just uh, consequences of um, remedial technologies and and again, um, positive benefits and as well as some consequences. And she's gonna be um, directing this presentation to the advisory committee for advice. Um, then we will be talking a little bit about just on the horizon, what to expect for 2025. And we'll wrap it up with just an affirmation of our upcoming meetings. Next. Administrative update. So at this time, I'd like to provide you with a brief administrative update specific to our Boston and some of our regional offices. Um, we are very pleased to announce that effective September 23rd, Tamara cardona Marek was hired as PWSC's Western Region's Deputy Regional Director, where she leads the program's operations, reporting directly to Michael Gorski and as a dash line to me. Tamara's here with us today, and at this time, I would like to introduce her so she can actually um, speak to 
her journey in the environmental field and how she ended up with MassDEP. We're excited and pleased to have Tamara. So if you don't mind, Tamara, unmute yourself and kindly please uh, introduce yourself to the advisory committee members. Thank you, Millie. Good morning, everybody. And as Millie said, my name is Tamara cardona Merrick, and I am new to MassDEP. I joined just recently in September. And but I'm not new to cleanup. I uh, my background um, is in environmental science. I have a doctorate in environmental sciences, specifically fate and transport of contaminants. And um, I prior to joining MassDEP, I worked for one of the technical assistance providers to, for Brownfields communities for um, two years for regions nine and ten. And uh, Prior to that, I worked for the Department of Ecology in Washington State in the cleanup program, um, leading the team that's cleaning up the uh, Lower Duwamish Waterway, the um, the state portion of the cleanup, as it is a super fun site. And uh, I worked there for about seven years. Before that, I um, worked for the cleanup program at the Department of Environmental Conservation in Alaska also for about um, seven years. And I did a little bit of academia in between there. So um, clearly academia wasn't my thing. So I stuck with uh, the uh, the state um, service. So um, I moved to Massachusetts about three years ago and I'm really excited of being part of this team and joining MassDEP. And I look forward to the opportunity to work with all of you. Thank you. Fantastic, Tamara. Thank you so much. It's really a pleasure. And I have met Tamara actually um, at a National Association of State and Territorial Salt Waste Managers a few years back. So it's wonderful to know that now you work for MassDEP. In addition, Tamara also worked for the US EPA Region 2. I, you may have said that, and um, but I think it's really impressive the fact that you have so much experience both on the federal level, the state level in the Pacific Northwest area, and also of course, working in the Brownfields program. So thank you. We're delighted and excited to collaborate with you from here on out and wishing you all the best uh, working with a lot of challenges, um, environmental challenges um, affecting the environment in the Western region in some significant Superfund project and actions and as well as DOD projects. So thank you so much. And we appreciate you spending time with us this morning. Um, also, I wanted to uh, give my appreciation to Catherine Skiba, because um, as a Mass DEP colleague, colleague in the Western region, um, she was really pinch hitting and providing us with significant and outstanding support um, in the Western region and as an acting DRD capacity. So thank you, Catherine, for helping us um, navigate through a very busy 2024 um, prior to Tamara serving as the Deputy Regional Director. And Paul, if you don't mind just um, going back to the prior slide, I just wanted to complete um, that particular slide before I give it um, hand the presentation over to the team members. So um, I just wanted to also uh, note that our Boston and regional staff has also been, been really busy in addition to also completing and charging on with our projects and policy work, regulatory work, uh, Mass DEP, Bureau of Waste Cleanup specifically has committed itself to um, provide time and talent, treasures, anything that we need to do to get our word out at various um, uh, exchanges and meetings and venues and conferences. And we, again, since the last time that we saw each other, um, our staff has been deployed to represent the program and participate uh, meaningfully, whether it's giving talks or participating and weighing in and commenting on um, for the various um, topics at hand. So I just wanted to report out that um, both Ken Maher and myself, we participated in the LSPA membership meeting in the fall. Um, we also deployed staff, um, specifically David Foss and Abigail um, Anderson to attend an at SWAMO, um, CERCLA and Brownfields um, Symposia in Oregon. This is again in the fall. Um, we also had staff, myself and David Foss, attend the board meeting and the annual meeting for its SWAMO in Washington, D.C. in the fall. Uh, Diane Baxter also participated in a board meeting in Numoa, New Hampshire. Um, Rose Knox and Stephanie Kelly participated in an EPA National Site Assessment Symposium that was held in St. Louis, Missouri. Excuse me, Missouri. Um, Rose also attended a record conference that was held in Charleston, South Carolina. 
And um, last but not least, we also had staff from the DEP Bureau for Site Cleanup providing technical support via presentations at the AHS East Coast Conference this past fall. So we're staying the course again also with PFAS. We'll talk a little bit about that, soils. Um, EDP will have a report from Brian Roden and of course engagement. And this is really um, our top priorities, which we will continue to, um, to deliver on. So thank you very much. Please advance for the next slide.